What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and all of these devices here, ranging from the Garmin to the Tizen to the Wear OS platform, they all have the same fatal flaw, and that's standalone music playback. I don't understand why these companies can't get this right. This is a smartwatch. They're trying to get us to leave our phones at home. They're trying to make these more like standalone devices. Some of them even offer 4G LTE connectivity, but they still can't get the basics right. Let's go ahead and talk about one thing that everyone shares in common around the world, and that is music. We all love music, but these just can't get that right. All right guys, so I just wanna start this video off and I just wanna make sure we're all on the same page about this. All of these devices, you can just transfer your MP3s to the watches from your hard drive onto the watch itself. That's to say, whatever you have stored on your hard drive, you can, in one way or another, put it onto these watches. But really, my whole point about this video, my whole disappointment about the wearable scene right now is I just want to download directly from my streaming service, my playlist, my podcast, whatever I'm listening to, I want to be able to just download it on the fly to my watch so that when I'm out and about and I don't want to take my cell phone, I can just connect to my watch, listen to my music, and kind of do my own thing. It's sort of like that Zen mode. It's sort of like the downtime that we need. I find myself leaving my phone at home, going for a walk, going for the gym, and just being in my own world, and I was a little disappointed that I couldn't really use my favorite streaming service on all of these watches. A lot of these manufacturers have sort of licensing deals with like Spotify, so the Garmin watch and the Galaxy watch all have a Spotify arrangement, and you can really only do that from Spotify. If you have Pandora, you're kind of SOL. If you use Google Play Music like I do, you're kind of SOL. I'm not really pushing one of these watches over the other. They're all excellent in their own way. So let me just show you what I mean. For the Garmin watches, you do have to have a music specific device. Not all of them can play music, but on this one, you will need a Spotify account. And that's what I really don't like. I don't like having to sign up for a music service just to use on one watch or another. That's just using my cash. That's just a service that I'm not really going to use. So for me, on the Garmin specifically, all I do is use this to download my podcast too. And I just want to show you how that works. So if you go here to add music and podcast, you can take a look at your playlist. And this will actually use the Bluetooth connection to your phone to pull up the playlist and see what you have. So these are just some playlists that I have here. Now the strange thing about the Garmin device is when you want to download your playlist or a podcast directly to the watch, it connects to Wi-Fi for some reason. I really don't know why that is. I'm assuming it's because they want a faster transfer rate versus Bluetooth, but I really don't understand why I can't just download on Bluetooth from my phone to my watch. This just means if I am out and about, say I don't have access to Wi-Fi, I cannot download a playlist. It's going to tell me I need to connect to Wi-Fi before I can download something. And to me, I think that's a huge limitation. That's a huge flaw in what they're trying to do. I can't just be on the train and say, oh, you know what? When I hit the office, I'm just going to leave my phone. I'm going to go to the gym real quick. So let me download some tracks before I get to the office. I'm not going to be able to do that. So let me just show you if I want to download, say, for example, the Club Life playlist that I have here. It says searching for Wi-Fi network. And again, I think that is absolutely ridiculous. And you do have to be above 50% to actually download something. To me, again, that makes no sense. Why do I need to be at 50%? I could understand 30, at most maybe 40%, but 50% I think is a little bit too much. So for me, this is a huge issue with the Garmin devices. It only works with Spotify. It does not work with Pandora does not work with Google Play Music. So again, you really have to sign up for a premium account with Spotify to download your playlist to your Garmin watch. And of course, you cannot stream directly from the watch. It does have to be downloaded to you. All of these watches do act as a remote control for whatever music service you have. So if you're listening to music on your phone, you can change tracks, lower or raise the volume, etc., etc. from all of these watches. Now, the one thing that, let's say, the Galaxy Watch has over the Garmin watch is that you can stream Spotify directly from the watch so you don't have to be connected to Bluetooth to stream. This will act as a standalone player. And this is a lot better. This is more functional. This is more of what I would expect from a smartwatch, guys. 
I expect the ability to stream directly from a watch. All of these watches have Wi-Fi built in. So we're just again assuming that wherever I am, say I'm at the gym, say I'm at the grocery store, there's free Wi-Fi available to me and I could just connect to it and stream as I wait in line or as I do my reps. So for this one, at least Spotify works a little bit better. This can act as a standalone player. But to show you guys the interface, it's pretty clean, it's pretty nice. You can sort of see what's playing. This one shows you a nice nice little thumbnail of the music that you're playing right now. And I am just connected to Wi-Fi to show you I do not have a Bluetooth connection. If you press play, you can switch through tracks, you can play your songs, you can do whatever you need to do. Galaxy Watch does a much better job for music streaming guys. And just to show you, you can go back and you have full access to Spotify. So you have your recently played, your featured, your music, you can browse, you can search. And in settings, you have a standalone mode or you have a remote mode. Again, that's if you're connected to your phone. And it's really simple. You can see your offline music, whatever you've downloaded to the watch. So say, for example, you do want to download to your watch. Let me just show you this. All you want to do is choose a playlist. Here's that Club Life playlist again. So you can choose to shuffle the play right from the watch as it is. Or you can just go here and click on download and now this is going to download directly to the watch and it's really really fast guys this is like one of the fastest downloads on all of these watches really this is downloading directly to the watch you see your progress bar so once this is downloaded you can download on the fly again over bluetooth or over wi-fi you can download directly to the watch so that's a huge plus again over the garmin watch this one is a little bit better so that's one thing i want to say again pandora doesn't work play music doesn't work etc etc next i'm going to show you wear os so again you saw that spotify streams directly from the galaxy watch with no issues so that brings me to a question why can't they do that on wear os spotify only acts as a remote player on wear os devices again that just boggles my mind i don't understand that so to show you i am just connected to wi-fi i am not connected to bluetooth here so if i open up spotify it's just going to tell me i have to connect to a bluetooth device basically i have to connect to my phone Clicking on that same playlist, here we go, start Spotify from another device. So I think that's really unacceptable, guys. This being a Wear OS device, Play Music will work directly from here. And you can go to your music library if you have any playlists, have any radio. But if we go to Recent Activity, it's going to pull up all of your recent playlists. And then all you have to do is hit that download button and it'll download directly to the watch itself. Or you press play and it'll start playing your playlist right over the Wi-Fi network or your cellular network. So again, this is another example of a great way to integrate music into a smartwatch. If you're on the go, if you want to download some songs, if you just want to stream directly from your watch. Now, the only reason this isn't playing, guys, I have over 10 devices already on my play account. So this is not going to play unless I go to Bluetooth. But play music streams directly from here. You can download your playlist directly to the watch using Bluetooth or using Wi-Fi. And that's how it should be. Another service that's going to work, again, I am just connected directly to Wi-Fi, nothing else has changed, is Pandora. So Pandora works 100% on the Wear OS. You can download your favorite playlist, your podcast, you can even play directly from the watch. You can play directly from your watch, you can thumbs up, it acts as a fully functional standalone player with access to all of your playlists right down here. You can't just download whatever you want on the fly directly to your watch. You will have to sort of download that on your phone, but then it'll automatically download and it'll download your playlist to it. But the moral of the story, guys, is no matter what you choose here, I just wanted to show you what actually works and what doesn't. So these two devices, Garmin and Samsung, obviously they have some agreements with Spotify and they are exclusive right now, but I really think in order for a device to be more widespread, in order for people to really love their devices, you have to open it up and you have to be able to use whatever music service you want on your watch i really hope you enjoy this video i hope you know what service you need to get with what watch let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite service for music streaming i always like to know for me google play i think gives me the best playlist but i'm just curious about you guys thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time